Hey, it's Zach, and welcome to Artifacts and Antiquity. Now, this is a new game by Zed Technician, the person who brought us the man from the window, the bit more no zero, all the good ones. They released this new one this morning, so I want to check it out with you today. So shake my hand. Leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you're doing on this Sunday. Also, Halloween is tomorrow, so let me know what you're being for Halloween. Let's check out Artifacts and Antiquity. I'm going to hit a new game. Yes. I don't know what, did y'all see all those numbers up on the wall? I'm really hoping that we're not going to have to deal with that. Hello. Get the headphones on, y'all. All the way up. Who is this? Is it an animal? What? Gracie. Thank you for calling the NC Electronics support line. My name is Gracie. How may I help you? Oh. Hello. It's Morton. Y'all remember Morton? Hello, madam. The computer we have here at my job has suddenly stopped working, and I can't figure out what's wrong with it. It was perfectly fine yesterday, but now it won't even turn on. Let me guess, it's an IXY model? Yes, that's it exactly. How did you know? There's a ton of folks calling about issues regarding the IXYs right about now. I hate to say it, but you're probably better off getting a new computer. Is he going to come to the computer shop? Preferably one not made by our company. Damn, Gracie! Okay, well, there goes that. What? And why is that? Well, this is the part where I'm supposed to tell you all about how we're working on a solution and not to worry. But that's not true at all. The IXYs all have a special chip that's made from an extremely cheap metal called Neon. The first problem with the chips is that they only have a lifespan of a few years tops, and after that they'll start to rust. Wow, okay, so I'm gonna sue the computer company. So I need to go out and get the chip replaced? See, now that's the other problem. Neon was recently outlawed because of how volatile it is, and NC Electronics knowingly used a dangerous material to save on production costs, so now our main product is a liability and the company's in straight up meltdown. Gracie, why don't you quit your job? I decided to work from home today because it's the final hours of Pompeii in the office right now. And to be honest with you, I don't feel like dealing with it. Excuse me, ma'am, but are you okay? Yeah, Gracie, you can talk to us. We work at a hospital. You sound rather dejected at the moment. I'm fine, except not really. I've given all to this company and now everything's just over. Curtains. And do you know what the higher ups had to say about all this? Nothing. There you go. All the executives either have cushy new positions lined up or are just planning to retire. Meanwhile, the nobodies like me get nothing. I, de I don't even know where to go after this. Hmm. In that case, I suggest checking the Red Page Posts website. Okay, Morton. A good friend of mine once had some trouble finding work, then he managed to find something on there. Is that a reference? I think I've heard of that one before. I'll go check that out right now. Why, you are just the sweetest thing, taking the time to help out little old me. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, I should probably tell you this too. Get rid of that computer immediately, like right now. Yeah, it's smoking up. The hospital's about to go to light. Once that chip starts to rust, the whole thing tends to overheat pretty quickly. Oh my gosh. All right, Morton, put it out, man. Grab the fire. Ida! Oh, he's going for Ida. Well, sir, thanks for calling NC Electronics. You have a nice evening. Bye. I'd better start searching then. Look out, world. Gracie's coming for you. Okay, so is this game going to be about getting a job? I'm a little confused on what, what it's going to be for this one. Stall & Co. Shipping Company. Are we going to be shipping shit out? I can get a job at a shipping company. I can do that pretty well. I can move boxes around pretty... Gracie. Sorry, Gracie. So yeah, after getting turned down from 38 different places, I ended up here. Oh, congrats, Gracie. I am eager to get started, Miss Faye. Well, ain't that just the bee's knees? Faye, what is going on? This is some kind of a fairy human. I ain't put too much confidence in hiring from online at first, but seems like you'll do just fine. Ain't too much to do around here at night since this place is just a shipping warehouse. Now between us, they really only ship stuff that don't nobody else want to deal with. Ha ha ha. But for some reason, they make us, they pay us to make sure ain't nobody going to break in and steal nothing in here. Faye, what are we shipping? Now, come on and follow me. Let me show you the office. Okay, let's go. I mean, I mean, goodness, great. The owners of the place are the Stahl brothers. They built it from the ground up, they did. You might have heard of them already from somewhere. I don't know. Stahl Brothers. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't recall. But they's just the kindest folks you'll ever meet. 
Sometimes on the weekends, they come out here in their trucks and run moonshine out the back, but don't tell nobody now. Moonshine? Oh yeah, it's real good too. I'll get them to pour you some next time. No, that's okay. I think I'll pass on that one. Suit yourself, hon. At work, we're gonna be drinking... Say, hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Don't pay him no mind. He's just being silly. Nice to meet you. Same. <laughs> and it... Oh, come. This is our state-of-the-art security system? Guys? The stalls daisy-chained a bunch of old TVs together. They hooked it up to some cameras they bought at the thrift store. Works like a charm. What do we do if a thief shows up? If it ain't something either me or Mike can handle ourselves, we usually just bounce and go home. Yep. So we just sit in here and wait for something to happen? Not always. Sometimes the signal for the movie channel comes in real good, then we watch that. Sweet. <laughs> but we'll get to that later. Tonight ain't like other nights here at the warehouse. The stalls done accepted a contract to move some pretty pricey looking stuff. It's set to ship out tomorrow. I don't know where it all done come from, but it sure is fancier than the stuff we usually ship. There's an old coffin. We called it. Yeah, I, I called you earlier. What the hell is that? We knew there were gonna be people. Now, right before you got here, me and Mike started hearing some weird stuff over on that camera. Camera three? Yeah, I see a little child's coffin. Protocol says that if we hear something strange, we gotta go check it out. You're new, so I ain't about to send you over there. So either me or Mike's gonna go check it out. Your job tonight is to stay in here and make sure we get back there and safely. That's not gonna happen. You guys are gonna both eat it. So go ahead and pick up that old radio on the desk. There's a little tab that you need to press in order to use it. All you gotta do is get one of us over to camera three. Think you can handle it? Absolutely. Just talk to either one of us and we'll head in. Let's get her done. All right, camera three, pick that up. Oh, okay, let's see. Who are we sending in here? Mike? Mike, you wanna go back there? I'm listening. Hey, Mike. <laughs> I know this might be a little early in our friendship, but can you go check out? Yeah, go get him. Reckon I better get him. Yeah, go ahead, Mike. Mike, you didn't have to do all that. Nine, ten, and five. Why are they? Why is that green? Are they knocking shit over in there? Green and white. Okay, Mike. Yeah, go go have fun with the chil the dead children. Is he gonna be okay? Mike? Oh, oh, I have to click on him. Oh, I see. So it's like a game of chess, maybe. Where you can only move in certain... Is that chess? Go to three. Look at him running over there like a creep. Okay, go check that out. Made it. Tap the monitor I'm on, then I'll get to searching. Okay. Go ahead. Be careful, Mike. Now, I know I just met you and all, and you're kind of creepy. Anything? It's quiet. Seems like all is well. Um, whoa! The near limitless level of insolence you mortals exude on a constant basis has now doomed you all. Hello. Repent now and allow us to reclaim what is rightfully ours, else your kind will not live to see another day. Okay. Ma'am. Pardon? <sighs> Why did the last hope for humanity have to reside within the hands of this stupid town? <laughs> Listen. Listen what? Alright, first of all, don't disrespect my man Mike like that. Now do you understand? Every single artifact that is being housed here is stolen. I ain't about to believe that. The stalls would never steal nothing. The stalls steal. The stalls stole. They're stealing. I never implied that your employer knowingly accepted our stolen treasures. They are irrelevant in this. That does not change the fact that if these artifacts aren't returned soon, the armies of the ancient gods will be released upon your world. But that's not fair. Why are we being punished for what someone else did? Despite my reservations about you uncultured yokels, I am on your side about this. Destroying humanity for the sake of seven little trinkets that we don't even use anymore seems quite foolish. For this reason, I've come to help you. 
bring all seven artifacts to me before the God's patience runs out and all will be forgotten. God's patience? We're testing God's patience? However, even with my help, this will not be an easy task for you three, for both Sekhmet and Thoth are placing their thumbs upon the scale against you. They both wish to bring about the end of humanity and will do anything in their power to stop you. Oh boy. Okay, the hourglass represents how long you have. You must bring each artifact to me. Lastly, I can easily use my powers to show you where each item is located. All you need to do is ask any questions. Yeah, what about... No, now shut up. Go. Okay, I mean, I have a couple questions. <laughs> uh, first of all, talk with... Blah, 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 blah. I didn't mean to be rude, but who are you? Who I am is not important. I'm nameless. That's okay. Nameless. Nice to meet you. All you need to know. Okay. Now, where do I go first? Fine, then. Observe. Okay. I'm observing. Big empty room with a bunch of forklifts and I guess a bunch of dead people in the middle. You figure out the rest. Okay. So that's room number what? That's that one? Wait. I think it's that one. Is it number four? Mike, you're gonna head over to number four. We'll see if that even works. Can I send her in there too? Fuck. <laughs> oh shit, okay, I guess I can't. Oh my, it's already running out so quick. We gotta go to four. Mike, where you at, man? Mike, I want you to head on up there. Yeah, go, shoo. You? You just chill out right there. Drink, can I have a sip? Okay, there we go, now he's in there. Should I get a searching? Yeah, search the room. I'll find that thing in a jiffy. I hope so, Mike. I hope so. Okay. I see it. Grab it carefully, Mike. Bring it back. You just get him to run. Uh-oh. Uh, Mr. Mike? Hello? You gotta be shitting. The thing went out again. Don't worry when it does this. Uh, the signal starts acting up. Just needs to be reset. You gotta go in the lobby. It'll need a password. Don't tell nobody now. But it'll accept just about anything. Okay, I'm gonna go out into the lobby. Give me just a second, you guys. I'm not going back in that damn warehouse. That is for sure. Let me check the computer. She said just about anything. How about... There we go. Mike? He comes running down that hall. All right, Mike. Here, listen, man. I'm gonna need you to go... Can he go get... What the hell? Scared my ass. I didn't think he was coming back in here. What's up, Nameless? You've successfully retrieved the first of our artifacts. Don't get overconfident. For the servants of Sekhmet have been tasked with preventing you from completing your mission. The Sentinel has now arrived? In life, he was a steadfast guardian for our kingdom. In death, he was allowed to keep his mortal body. Now he is here. Watch carefully for him and do not enter the same room as he. Should you cross paths? Oh, no. It's one of those crossing path bullshits. Where is he? Oh, I don't see him. Okay, well, let me ask you where the next one is. Show me. If he's in there. It, we're gonna have to, like... Oh. Okay, it's the green thing. It's gonna be in there. That's not too hard. Okay, we got it. Figure it out, figure it out. Um, That's... Where is that even? Fuck, I can't even tell, dude. Oh, it's right here, right? I think it's right here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna send you in there this time, Faye. I hope she doesn't die. I kind of like her, but I like Mike too, y'all. Mike is cool. Mike is chill. I'm gonna send... Okay, that's her. I don't see this. Oh no! Oh no! Faye, I'm sorry. Unfortunately for her, Faye has wandered into a room. I didn't even see him. I didn't even see him until I clicked. Y'all, I'm so sorry. And being no match for an elite servant to the god, she was promptly carried off. Time and time again. Oh, her three adult children. But due to her enduring friendship with the owner, she stayed. Her sense of loyalty had inertly. Welp. Mike, I guess it's just me, you, nobody, and the Beal Boys for the rest of this episode. Head on in there. Can I go in? When can I go in? I feel like I'd be good at this. Okay, let me check. I don't see him there. I don't see him there. I'm gonna send him over that way. He needs to head down over, over here. I'm gonna see, yeah, no little demons. 
It's hard. Does he like fuck off for a little while after he killed her or what's going on? Here, we'll go down. Oh no, that's him. That is him. Right? Right there? I don't know what that is. I'm not fucking with it though. Search that room. Find that thing in a jiffy. Go ahead, man. Please let that be the one and not just some, some half naked dude. One of the many traps placed by the Thoth had been triggered. Upon gazing into it, the very passage of time itself began to hasten. Although a fair amount of time had now slipped away, Mike was unharmed. Wait. Mike was chilling? Oh, but... But we're almost dead. We're dead. An artifact. Three in a row. I'm gonna check number eight now. What just happened? Oh no, oh no. Unfortunately for our group, their limited time was up. The gods had no more patience left to spare. A whole army? As dawn approached, the long dormant army of ages was unleashed. Was such grave ret retribution warranted over a seemingly insignificant slight? could bring about the end of humanity over seven small and insignificant objects be decified, that no longer mattered, for the end was nigh. Look at all these dude, for seven little objects. Okay, I'm thinking it might be number eight, but uh, like, he's got nothing better to do, man. He really does not. Search the room. Okay, okay, a chalice, it looks like. Now, was that two out of what? I suggest that you keep a close eye on the whereabouts of your enemies this night, for I cannot guarantee that they'll remain stationary. Do not forget that. Oh yeah, he's gone. Okay, we're gonna go. Oh, he's coming down. He's moving on the cameras. Here, come back here, buddy. Quickly now. I think that lets him, yeah, that brings him back through here. Oh, two out of seven. But proceed carefully for the assassin has now arrived. In life, he was unstoppable force among our people. In death, he was allowed to keep his mortal body. Now he's rewarded. He will be much more difficult than the Sentinel to locate. Watch the shadows, for you will no doubt be able to see his piercing red eyes. Okay, dude. All right. Okay, well, let me figure... There he is. There he is right there. I mean, he's not that hard to spot. What? Okay, show me where it is. It's really tricky, y'all. Okay, we got we got a little dolly flipped over right there in front of it. That should be easy. You figure it out, okay. Whatever. That one, right there. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna send in you again, Mike. Now, oh no, yeah, we gotta be careful. Go up here, because he's in number nine right now. Let me make sure no, no funny business in number four. Or number three. Oh, he's in number eight down there. Y'all see him? What a creep. We gotta go to number seven. Okay, number seven. I think this is the right one. If it's an eye. Yes, what is that? Okay, some kind of a cross. Now we gotta bring him back. That's the hard part. Um, I don't see anything in there. I don't see anything in there. And I don't see any, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, now we're good. Perhaps my trust in you country bumpkins wasn't entirely misplaced after all. I suggest you not disappoint me. Okay, we got four more. So is there anybody new? No? Okay, well show me where the next one is. Okay, it's like in a back right corner by a shelf with the door open on the right. You figure out the rest, shut up. It's that one I bet, or no, maybe. Oh no, he's hiding right there, little creep. It might be, I'm thinking it's this one. So we gotta figure out how to get him over here. Look, he's over there and he's over there. Little haters. All right, Mike, good luck. Okay, we're at number two. B, oh, guys, we are killing it. That's some Harry Potter Slytherin shit. I don't know what that was. Okay, number three is clear. We're gonna head over. Oh, I thought I just saw some follow him. Uh oh, the thing's going out. Mike, hang on, man. Hang on for a second. Let me go reset this. Give me just a minute, man. Just a minute. Easy. Keep it moving to the right. I think we're good to go to 10. Yeah, we should be good. You stay at four. I really like this game. I, I swear every game that he makes, 
the mechanics are so different and something I've never even seen before. You've completed the first half of your tasks. However, the third and final servant of Sekhmet is now here, the priest. It is difficult for me to put in simple terms what has become of him. In life, he ascended. Now his spirit and body are no longer tied to this world, yet he is unable to cross into the next. Your sad mortal eyes will not be able to see him. Take my ekne. Ank. If you hold it in focus, you will be able to locate him. You may use it in the same way you use that device which you call radio. Now go. Okay, so we gotta... We gotta pull it out on every room that we want to see. Okay, so it's the one back by all the trucks. I got that. Cool. I don't like... <laughs> Can you not stare at me like that? It's that one. We gotta go all the way over to number one. Okay, Mike. Time to have some fun. Reckon I better get a move on. <laughs> yeah, he peels out of here, y'all, every time. I've got my little thing in my hand. I don't know how to check it, though. That's the hard part. Uh, Ma'am, how do I check? I, I don't know. I guess we'll just send him up. But we can't, we can't see him. I don't know if he's in here. Hold on, buddy. It's not letting me check the room. We should be good. I wish, I don't know how to hold this thing out, though. Go to number one, get to searching. Find that thing in a jiffy. I'm worried about him, y'all. I'm worried about him getting back home safe. There we go. What is that? It's like some kind of... You put around your neck, maybe? Okay. Mike. Man, please be careful here. You should be good. Should. Keyword. Oh, no! But... Oh, the priest, but I didn't know how. And being no match for the elite servant to the gods, who's probably carried off into the afterlife. Similarly to the others like him, he had managed to escape from a desolate dark world, finding solace in a land very much like his own. However, even this was still not enough to protect him. So it's just us and Gracie now. And someone's got to go get that. Okay, so I sent her to grab the hat. I think... You can just pull this little thing out and like go near the monitor and you'll be able to see them up on the screen if it's out. So since I have it out right now and I don't see it, I don't think they're there. Maybe they left after killing uh, our dear friend Mike and I'm still not happy about that. That's five. You only have two more to go. Well done. Oh, thank you. Okay, so what, what new bullshit is there? No new bullshit? Okay, so can you help me find it then? Observed. I can't believe Mike is dead. Okay, we're by the little fisherman guy by the door. Shit. You figure out the rest. Shut up. We gotta make it to number 12. Oh, is that him back there? Are you kidding? Who is that over there? He's there, and who's that? Okay, well, whatever. Okay, here she goes. Number 12. She's still there. We're going to call that in really quick. Hurry up, Faye. I keep calling her Gracie. Sorry. Nice. Can we, I mean, can we shoot <laughs> these little demons sitting in this warehouse? Okay, Faye. Oh, I don't see her anymore. Oh, she's over there now. Faye, I'm going to get you out of here. Just come up here with me. Yep, keep coming up. We're going to head over to the right, if that's okay with you. What is back there? I don't think that's anything. Come this way. Be really careful, though. Keep moving. Number 10. We're good. Okay, one more, Faye. One more. It seems that both Sekhmet and Thoth themselves have now arrived as well. This is unprecedented. I do not know what they intend to do here. Regardless of what tactic they will try to employ, just know that my ink will most likely stop it. If something else seems amiss, stand strong and point the ink towards it. Good luck. You need it. Really? Really? Come on, dude. Come on. Okay, where's this last one? It's in the middle of the room with the planks and then the door. Okay, we got that. Um, what the hell? Ex okay, get the hell off my screen, you little rascals. The fuck? There it is. We need to make it a 13, y'all. Unlucky number. Okay, May? Faye, guess where you're going. Gotta make it a 13. Hey, 
hey. Yeah, excuse me. Yo, this is fucking... I don't like this. I do not like this at all. What the heck? Trying to grab on? Uh-uh. Me no likey that shit. Uh-uh, look down there, y'all. I almost sent her down there. That would have been hell. Get, get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. All y'all out. Down. Make it at the 13, y'all. Make it at the 13. Oh. Okay, we're good. Good in 12, too. And good in 13. Make sure she's not checking. Okay. Hurry up, Faye. You got this. You got it. Search the room. <sighs> Who was just trying to nap our stuff, dude? <laughs> the timer. Okay, what is that? Some kind of big ass ring. Faye, you just need to get back. You just, nah. Hey, hey, stop. Faye? Go up. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, Faye. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll, I'll get this back on for you. Don't even worry about it. Behind you! What the hell does that mean? You fu- Who the hell? Ha! Okay. Alright. I gotta stop. We gotta stop lollygagging, y'all. Go up. And then- Oh, shit. He's in there. Go back down. And then go this way. Hurry, hurry. May? Faye? Come on. Come on. We're almost there. Hurry, hurry. Yes, yes. Okay, I think we just did it. Maybe, Mike is dead, but whatever. That is the seventh and final item. You hillbillies have somehow managed to successfully complete your task on this night. Well done. Not without sacrifices on your part, of course, but I suppose some things cannot be helped. Dude, don't remind me about Mike. Now to return these stupid things and end this madness. Yeah, you can do that. I'm doing nothing more for the rest of the episode. Mark my words. We'll sit back and watch. I feel like that was really bad. Uh, you're gonna replace that window, right? I wouldn't count on it. Goodbye. But my window. And the therapy I'm gonna need to pay for now. Well, shucks. You can say that again. That's all I get. Gracie and Faye had quelled the gods' anger and survived their ordeal. Yet Mike's absence loomed over them like a dark cloud. Gracie, for her part, took to her new job fairly well despite the circumstances, but no matter how hard she tried, she could not forgive herself for her failure to keep both her co-workers safe. Faye did her best to try and move on, but the memories of that fateful night replayed relentlessly in her mind. She could not blame herself for circumstances out of her control, nor she, could she bring herself to blame Gracie either. She simply wished that things had turned out differently. <sighs> if we have to play the game again on a stream and get the good ending, then we will. While I'm not entirely happy with that ending, I'll take it. Hey man, while you're here, leave an F in the comments down below for Mike. Secret double handshake. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe. And if you want to watch another one, there it is.